Hello Eagles, welcome to the first ever edition of the Eagle TV 2.0 Plus Show. Today we have pro sports, karaoke, meet the Eagles, higher or lower, a special midweek pick me up, how to back in a car, and Nick's Bible verses. The skillets are hot, so let's get cooking. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Johnny Tettleman. And I'm Nick Armito. So, Johnny, with the NBA season starting up this Tuesday, who is your favorite team? Well, Nick, my favorite team is the Lakers, and I can't wait for the season to open next week. Luckily for you, Aiden and Andrew are giving us some preseason team rundown for the Clippers and the Lakers. Take it away, guys. Hey, what's going on, SM? I'm Aiden. And I'm Andrew. With the NBA season right around the corner, we've decided to preview two teams for this upcoming season, with that being the Lakers and the Clippers. For the Lakers, they're a, they're a team that only got stronger this past offseason. With the recent acquisition of Russell Westbrook, Dwight Howard, Carmelo Anthony, and a plethora of young shooters, this will be a team vying for the NBA title this season. Personally, I can't wait to see how Westbrook adjusts to this new teammate and the reshuffled West. I think it will be another, another memorable and exciting time to be a Lakers fan, and I honestly can't wait to see how the season unfolds for the Purple and Gold faithful. And for the Clippers, this is a team who really didn't get any new faces in the locker room, as they only signed Justice Winslow over the summer, as well as they traded for Eric Bledsoe. But other than that, it's been pretty quiet on the executive front. This will be a very pivotal year for the Clippers, as they will be without Kawhi for a large chunk of the season and will force players like Paul George, Ibaka, Jackson, among others, to step up and have increased roles in order to fight for position in a scrappy Western Conference. I still do think the Clippers have a lot left in the tank, and it'll be a good test for the Clips this season. Well, SM, that about wraps it up for our SoCal Sports Update. I'm Aiden. And I'm Andrew. Have a great week, SM. That was great, guys. Thanks for that rundown. You know, Johnny, unlike some of those wide open shots played in that last video, the parking lots around campus can be pretty tight and closely spaced. Yeah, parking can be a bit difficult at times. Thankfully, Ozaday made a video on some parking techniques that can be quite useful. Let's get to some of those pointers. Hey, Sam. I'm Ozaday. I'm Freya. And I'm Jackson. And today, we're going to be teaching Freya how to back into a parking space. No, 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 no. Wrong way. You're go no, you're backing up into this spot. Oh <laughs> Don't wait for us today. No, no. Yes. Keep going. Oh my gosh, she actually gonna do this? No, 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 other way. Left. No, no, she's fine. There you go. Anything to say for yourself? I will not be doing that in the future. I'm gonna turn into every space. Aren't you glad we, you know how to do this now? No. It's not a valuable skill. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Now back to the host in the studio. Great idea, Ozaday. Thanks for those pointers on how to park. On another note, Malad brings us some karaoke fun. Great to do us some long trips like road trips. That sounds great. I can't wait to see what it is. Let's hear some karaoke. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch 
this. Music hits me so hard. It makes me say, oh my lord, thank you for blessing me. With a mind to rhyme and two hype feet. Feels good when you know you're down. Super dope boy from the hometown. That was super entertaining. It even makes me want to try karaoke. You said it. With this week being stressful and the pre-testings added on to all the other weekly tests, I need some uplifting. So do I. Oh wait, I know what we need for this. A special edition of a midweek pick-me-up. Annie, take it away. Staying on the school subjects, have you ever wondered if you could get to know all the teachers around campus? Actually, no, I'm not. Well, on today's Meet the Eagles, we'll be learning about even more new teachers that came onto campus this year. Hello, my name is Jim Robinson. I teach freshman and sophomore in, uh, religion. I earned a BA degree in philosophy at St. John's College and fun fact I lifeguarded for 25 summers at Huntington State Beach. Hi my name is Mr. Garitano. Uh, I teach theater arts here at SM and uh, I went to uh, UCLA for theater arts and um, some of my hobbies. Uh, well I not really a hobby it was my profession. When I graduated UCLA I was a professional uh, actor working at, uh, for the Actors' Equity Union. And also, uh, I taught at OSHA for 15 years, uh, teaching theater arts. I also scuba dive. Um, I also teach, uh, taught uh, stage combat, and I do teach stage combat here. Happy to be here, and uh, love SM. It's always great seeing and meeting who the new teachers around this campus are. So Johnny, did you know Facebook and YouTube are tied for the two most popular searches on Google? I actually did not know that, but Luke went around asking people to guess if the certain amount of searches of a topic from Google is higher or lower from the amount that he says. Luke, take it away. What's up Eagles? Today I'm going to be asking our students to play a game called Higher or Lower. It's based on the Google game where you have to guess the average monthly searches and whether they're higher or lower depending on the subject. Let's check it out. I'm here with Joey and Joey. The average monthly searches for plumber is 450,000. Do you think Twitter has more searches or lower searches? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, more searches. More. Let's see. You're right. 82 million. All Good work, right. Joey. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Cooper and Cooper. Mount Sinai has an average monthly search of 110,000. Do you think Disneyland has more searches or less searches? More. More. You're correct, two million, good stuff. So I'm here with Jeff, and Jeff, Disneyland has an average monthly search of 2,200,000. Do you think Christianity has more searches or less searches? Well, you know, I think Dis Disneyland's a little more popular, so I'm gonna have to go with, uh, I'm gonna have to go with less. All right, let's see. You are correct, 450,000, unfortunately. You good? All right, so I'm here with LJ and LJ, Christianity has an average monthly search of 450,000. Do you think Los Angeles has more or less? Uh, more. More, yeah. let's see. You're right, 2,200,000. Good stuff. All right, so I'm here with Chloe and Chloe. Los Angeles has 2,240,000 monthly searches. How many do you think the Los Angeles Clippers have? More or less? Less. Less, let's see. 
You're correct, 165,000. Well, that's all we have for you today, Eagles. Thanks for watching, and we'll send it back to the hosts. Thanks, Luke. That was very interesting to learn how many searches sports teams and other popular topics have. Yes, it was. And just as we do every day before leaving school, let's end the first edition of Eagle TV 2.0 Plus with a great scripture reading from Nick Augustine. Nick, fill us with some scripture. Oh, hello, SM. Today I'm here to read you the Bible. Today's verse, Isaiah 25, verses 6 through 10. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all people, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on the mountain, but Moab will be trodden down, as a straw is trodden down in the mire. That scripture reading was very great, Nick. Well, Eagles, that's all we have for you. I'm Johnny. And I'm Nick. Have a wonderful day, Eagles. Okay.